I'm Sophie Monk and I'm The Bachelorette. I know I'm not the typical Bachelorette. I'm 37, I'm a massive bogan, but I really hope that Australia understand that I really want to find something genuine and they back me on this and don't think I'm a tool, to be honest. <laughs> Come on. Oh, good boy. My mum was the one that suggested I should be the bachelorette because she hasn't liked any of the guys I've dated. Living in LA for 10 years, I've dated high profile people like actors and rock stars, but that's not at all what I've been looking for. That's the circles I've kind of been in and I think they've fallen in love with my image, not with me. I'm so lucky to do what I do, don't get me wrong. Like, very grateful. That's great, thank you very much. Oh, no worries. One more. But the one thing I think you do sacrifice is a really healthy, good relationship. All I've ever wanted is a down-to-earth Aussie bloke. Just someone that actually loves me for the craziness, the quirkiness, the weirdness, everything. <laughs> He's sleeping through the best bedroom ever met. My upbringing was very down to earth and very humble. So I think I lost myself in Hollywood not feeling me and not feeling the love. Just miss my family a lot living overseas for 10 years and just wanted to come back to them. I live on the Gold Coast. Oh, hey, so. And I ended up right back where I started. I've, I've lived in this suburb since I was two years old. It's so funny how everyone aspires to go Hollywood, yes, money, yes, fame. Yeah. You get there and I'm like, all of you are depressed and want to be everyone yes, else. Yeah. And that's all I want is normality. My parents have been married for about 43 years. And are you guys still happy? Oh, extremely. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they make each other laugh all the time. What more can you ask for? I'd love to have what my parents have. I'm looking for someone that's like Dad, not looking like the looks I want handsomer. But, um... <laughs> Don't think I'll find that. <laughs> but I want someone that's as loyal, like, is the man of the family always there, but still a masculine, but then can be emotional with women. <laughs> yeah, that's it, exactly. Something like that. Yeah, yeah that's something like that. Masculine, I love that. Oh, sweet. Let's drink to that. Yeah. My family have been a massive support my little sister particularly. She'd be my best friend if she wasn't family anyway. Well, tomorrow it all starts. I know. I wish she could come on some of the dates with me. So do I. <laughs> you know, we haven't really seen those early days of a relationship because it has been overseas or in Sydney or whatever. I can't wait to watch someone lean in for a kiss or touch your leg. I'm not very good at it. I can't wait because the look on your face. Because I'm not good at the, the, even these ones. I it's like I am with you guys, but it's a bit... I just get embarrassed. I think because I've had to hide it so long. Yeah, that's right. Look, and I've never I'm... been, you know, is either paparazzi taking a photo and making up a story. So I don't like public affection too much. I think because I've played roles that are quite sexy and promiscuous, people think I'm like that. That's probably why I attract the wrong guys too. But I am so awkward. The worst flirt you've ever met. I can't even grab a guy's hand. I get really nervous and, and it's just embarrassing when I'm on a date. What are you hoping to find? What do you want to gain from this? Of course I'd love what you've got. That's what I'd want. You've got a loving husband. He's your best friend. You've got beautiful kids. I'd love all of that. Yeah, I often look back and think, I'd probably be married with about five children by now. But, you know, it wasn't my path. Sorry. That's um, one thing I regret, is I feel like I chose my career and you can't really have both. I wish I could have balanced it better. Hopefully you do walk away with what you want. And yeah. I just hope that, you know, the right people are there for the right reasons. Thanks, Lou. All right, we're going. <laughs> That's it. Hug you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I think in a relationship I give too much love. I've got so much to give and I haven't found anyone that gives that back to me. I want a man that's by my side forever and really has my back. I'm just here because I want to find a good man that I think would be a good father and just someone that loves me.
night in the weirdest way could be one of the biggest nights of my life. I'm so excited to meet these guys, but at the same time, I'm probably more nervous than them. I'll never give up on trying to find love. That's just what I want. And I do believe I'll find it. And I think I've got a really good feeling about this. My intuition's pretty good. I just think, for me, now in my life, I'm so ready to meet someone and commit and really settle down. The time is now.